doing today, guys? Alex Tracing here with SBU. Uh, today we're going to talk about how you should carry the football, whether you're a quarterback, receiver, running back. Once you're in the open field looking to run, where should you have the football? Um, we're going to create four points of contact. The first one is getting our fingers over the nose of the football, okay, making sure that our, our fingers split the nose. The second is the inside of our forearm. The third is the inside of our bicep. And the fourth point in the, is the chest. And that's the most important one to remember is that we want to squeeze the ball against our chest. But putting it against our chest, we don't expose the ball to anyone coming in from behind us. If I drop that ball down to my side, the back end of the football is now exposed for anyone who wanted to come in from behind and hit it. The moment I move it up to my chest, that ball is no longer exposed. Okay? So go ahead and squeeze it up on top of your chest. Okay? When you switch ball hands, we want to make sure that ball doesn't come away from our body. So keep that ball high in your chest, bring that arm over the top, bring it to the other side. Again, I've got my fingers over the nose, forearm bicep and chest all covering the ball. I'm not letting the ball drop down to my side. Keep it nice and high, just like that. Okay? No fumbles if you carry the ball properly. Thanks for checking in with SBU. Be sure to check out our website at sportperformanceu.com.